All right, let's see here. We will set the mood. That looks pretty cool. We got these Aperture B7s and they have made the office pretty neat. Cool, cool, I like that, this looks good. So today I'm gonna give a little how-to on how to do this levitation thing that we put in our new reel. I've had a few people kind of ask about this, want to see kind of a breakdown how to do it. And it's honestly really, really simple. Um, we shot it a couple for a couple of different ways because I don't do a ton of visual effects. I thought this would be a simple one, something that people could try pretty easily on their own. And with a little bit of technical lighting, I think it goes a long way in kind of pulling this effect off. Uh, what we're looking at is this levitation uh, footage. Yeah, as you can see, we shot a handful of these uh, different ways. Uh, the last one is actually the best one. Our friend Aaron did this. And right in here is kind of the, the prime time. So I'm gonna set in a end marker and let's find where it kind of looks the coolest at the end. Cool, so somewhere in there is probably gonna look really great. Let's go ahead and insert this. And then you'll see underneath here, we actually did another clip with uh, Trevor and Ross and I had them hold him up. I, I didn't think it would actually matter, but just in case, you know, if we were gonna light this a little bit differently, um, we did this so that we would have the underneath so that we could mesh that there because he's obviously on this chair. We're actually not gonna need that for this, but if you're doing something a little bit more brighter, a little bit more light sensitive instead of this dark black void sort of situation, that's where something like this would be helpful so that you can kind of paint this in and, and mask that back in. Um, and then we also did a clean plate in case, in case we needed to paint anything out. Truth be told, we don't even need that for this situation. So we're gonna take this up on layer two. We're gonna kind of look at this again, make sure that this is enough time. Cool, cool, great. Um, so yeah, I think that that's gonna work really good. So what we're going to do is we're basically just gonna cut him out here. One of the main things that I'm gonna do though is I'm going to create a color map. Um, and I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but I'm gonna select this color right here above him for the void. And we're gonna pull this void right underneath here. So when we cut this out, it feels a little bit cleaner. So let's just start with a simple mask. Uh, so let's play around with the feather. Make sure that that'll actually work. As we can see, I mean, it already looks pretty okay. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna make a path and we're just gonna make sure his feet don't come, oh, look right there, his feet come out. So that's not gonna work. So let's make an adjustment. Okay, so in general, that's kind of the whole thing. It doesn't look perfect here, but we also haven't done any coloring to it yet. So let's do an adjustment layer and let's pull that adjustment layer here. Um, let's go ahead and give it a slightly different color too. So we're not looking at this in an odd way. All right color, curves. So yeah, I don't know, that's pretty good. Obviously this isn't like super, super crazy detail. So I think I'm gonna stick with this. Um, what I like to do when whenever I'm working with stuff like this is just kind of giving uh, a base level of this and then, you know, so I have a, a safety uh, and then just copying over and I might actually just nest these. And then I can pull this underneath. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale this down. We'll go a little bit more extreme in this case. So we'll, we'll go at a 50 here. Um, as you can see, I kind of put this, uh, Oh wow, actually it was like really close. I have all this stuff going on here. I have the, if we 
you can see now that that mat is underneath, but the color grade is actually bringing it all together to kind of feel like it fits. So, you know, as we can see, it looks a little bit more epic. Let's go to the start. We're gonna have him actually fall from the top. So I'm gonna lift him up, you know, so we're just moving the axis up there. And I want him to fall and us to actually zoom into him a little bit. So we're gonna move this down. That might be a little too extreme. And let's actually tweak this ever so subtly too. So it feels like there's a little bit less perfect of motion. And let's go like 60%. And let's just see how that's looking kind of to start here. Yeah, it's not too bad. The only thing is I want to move these further this way. And let's actually do a little render real quick. Cool. I'd say it loses a little bit of its like, its punch kind of right there. So we'll actually make that the end of the clip. I feel like we could make it a little bit more dramatic maybe. I'm thinking we should move him up a little bit higher. That feels probably better. Let's see how that looks. Cool, it actually feels like he's falling now. I think we have a pretty good look right here. Uh, we obviously have the base that we can kind of always come back to, but this feels pretty good. So the only thing is, is this just feels super clean. Uh, we could obviously do some sort of particle effects, but if I'm being totally honest, I don't know how to do that. So what I am gonna do today is I have some of the teal flares um, that are available or are becoming available very, very soon. Um, these are the raw ones, so they'll be all a lot nicer. But yeah, I have these flares. Uh, there's a bunch of different colors. I'm looking at this blue one, this more sci-fi one, which I think this is the one we're gonna go with, yep. And I have this purple one that I think will be nice and subtle. And then I have this one that's like kind of more of an organic flare that feels uh, a little bit more natural. Obviously this is a light. This one we used a uh, diffracted glass in front of, and then this one we used a prism in front and a glass to kind of create this effect. Uh, so this will be the first one. This one I'm looking at, there's one section of this where it feels kind of orby and like sci-fi, like levitation. So this feels pretty strong right here. I'm gonna let this go through so and let's just bring it in and see what we have we're going to obviously can't see anything right now so we got to make it transparent so we're going to go into opacity and we're going to go into um we can do screen which as we can see it kind of goes like that um that's going to be kind of start and let's go ahead so this is at let's take it up to 135 so it's a little bit bigger and let's also give a, let's take the color grade up and above. So in here, the softer side, I really like. So I'm gonna set in, and once it gets that harder, I don't really want that. So I'm gonna bring this in, I'm gonna layer that, and I'm gonna find, okay, I really like this. So I like this softer. I don't mind that harder section. And I'm gonna bring that in just like so. I think I'm gonna move this in a little bit later. Um, and I'm gonna copy and paste what we got going on up here to this one. So now we have an overlay. And for this one, I think I'm gonna do 200. So it's a little bit bigger, same thing here. Uh, I don't want this to necessarily be as prominent. And then we just have this like really normal, subtle. So this one, we're just gonna go here. We're gonna find the full kind of section for it. There's a nice little uh, uptick there towards the end. So that'll actually be our end point right there. Um, No, I'm not going to scale that up. We're going to copy the opacity settings. Bam. And 
Let's see how this looks. While we're waiting, I'm also going to just bring on a little anamorphic situation I got going on here. Let's just pull this in. And bring in something a little extra. Eh, that might be a little too much. Let's see. Let's do 130. All right. So let's stretch that across. You know what? I'm looking at this more, and I'm just seeing things I don't love. So I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to make a few tweaks to this. Uh, so let's actually make some adjustments to the flares themselves, because they're pretty raw. These ones aren't colored, so we're going to make the darks darker. And I think on this one, I'm actually going to bring the saturation up to that blue. And let's see if we can maybe shift it a little bit more in the blue family. Yeah, I like that a lot better already. Uh, we'll take our contrast up, take our highlights up, take our shadows down. So that's feeling a little bit better. So I'm digging that. Um, let's do the same to this one. Yep, that's feeling better. Let's see what we get here. Yep, looking that. And then I'd also say with this one, let's go 15%. It doesn't need to be as intense. Same with this. And then this one's really subtle, but I'm going to even take it down to 25%. And this one I feel like is still a little bit tough, so we'll do 30. And let's see how this looks once it renders. Cool, this doesn't look too bad. Let's look at this again. So obviously there's a little bit of a sharp start here, so Let's just um, let's let's bring this in a little bit smoother. Like I'm fine with it being slightly jarring, uh, but that was obviously way too jarring. So we'll just blend these a little bit more to take them in and out. Let's see how that looks. Oh, of course, full render. Cool. Yeah, that feels a little better. Yeah, I'm I'm digging this. Uh, the only thing I think is like I might I might just tweak this a little bit more to maybe scale up a touch more. So instead of sixty, let's just go like seventy. So it feels like we're zooming in a little bit more. Um, all right, I think this is our final result. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's nothing super crazy. Um, I did this all in Premiere Pro. We did this just on a stool, and we shot it in 48 frames a second, super slow-mo. And then, you know, I think it's just about masking it out. And the fact that I'm doing it in this black void sort of look obviously plays a super huge role and makes it a lot easier to kind of tackle. Didn't have to do a whole lot of work of just masking out basically the bottom and making sure we're not cutting out his hands. We lit it all from the top. You know, I think the flares add a little bit extra to it. If I was more of a whiz, then I'd probably take this into After Effects and I'd add some particles and do all that sort of stuff or find some sort of cool, interesting overlay. But for what it is, I think it looks pretty interesting. Um, I'm pretty happy with this shot and I can't wait to kind of build it into the actual full edit that it's going to be a part of. This is it. Uh, shot some simple footage. Took some of the uh, teal flares and overlaid that and kind of created more of an interesting, organic, orby kind of feeling. And uh, yeah, moved some stuff around and made it feel like it was 3D space. And that's about it. If you want to levitate someone, it's a lot easier to do than what you think. I'm not a visual effects person. This isn't something I do very often, but... I don't know. It was really fun to do. I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, please let me know. I know some of this is just kind of second nature for me. I've been doing this for a long time. So if I skip something, please feel free to message me, comment, whatever it is. Um, if you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. 
I had a lot of fun making this. I had a lot of fun shooting this and trying to do a little bit more of these how-tos and and give back a little bit more in simple ways and the ways that I know. And thank you. Please subscribe, do all that sort of stuff, and let me know if you like these things.